It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat DiCibato. All right, welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'm your host, Pat DiCibato of the Daily South Town Newspapers. And we're at the Beggar's Pizza location, 650 West Maple Street in New Lenox. I want to thank my guys, Stash and Peter Guerrero for hooking us up out here. Thanks for the accommodations. Got a great show for you folks. We have Providence football coach Mark Coglianese. Uh, Cogs has been at Providence 30 years, the last 11 as its head coach. Took them to the 2014 Class 6A state championship. Celtics are rolling, they're in the quarters. They are at St. Lawrence on Saturday. Um, that should be a great, great game, folks. And uh, we're also gonna have on senior linebacker Mariano Sori Marin as our guest three-year varsity guy, uh, Minnesota recruit, having a heck of a season. So great show for you tonight, folks. We are gonna, gonna go to a beggar's pizza timeout. Remember, join the Big Cheese loyalty program. Plenty of perks, beggar's bucks, discounts. It's all good. Go to beggarspizza.com. We come back, Providence football coach Mark Coglianese, affectionately known as Cogs. To those in the know, he'll be our guest. Stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. Hello, boys. I'm a drop-dead gorgeous pepperoni sausage whole the vegetables deep dish pizza. Mmm, just look at my cheese. Your place or mine. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. Thank you, Coach's Corner, for celebrating all these great athletes. Now celebrate the American Classic with Apple Chevy. Classics like the Chevy Impala. Originating in 1958, the Chevy Impala is older than the states Hawaii and Alaska. It still holds its sleek and stylish design with a focus on luxury. It has the option to have the power of 305 horses. Don't take my word for it. Come test drive it today at Apple Chevy. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest Athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. All right, our first guest tonight, Providence football coach Mark Coglianese. Cogs, thanks for coming on board again. My pleasure. I think it's been a few years. I think we were out at Providence in 2014 when you won the 6A state championship. But I want to say, man, it's, it's been a good eight years since we were at this Beggar's Pizza location with you in New Lenox, right? That's right. It's been Pete, a little while. Pete Houlihan was, was our guest, Was I the believe. guest, yes. yep. So Mariano, he's got some big shoes to fill, right? He does. <laughs> Big shoes. I'm sure he'll be fine. All right, he'll be our second guest tonight. So, all right, Cogs, you're, uh, you're in the 6A quarters. Congrats on that. You beat Normal West 33-7 last Saturday. Um, you're at St. Lawrence uh, this Saturday, 2 p.m. kickoff. Uh, what's been the key to this success during the postseason? Yeah, I think it just comes down to our, our seniors. You know, we have a great senior group, great senior leadership. And, uh, you know, and it's, it's Providence tradition. We get in the playoffs. Um, you know, we're always ready to make a run. Yep. And, uh, you know, we put it in our seniors, and they're going to take us as far as we go, and so far, so good. So far, so good is right. Um, you know, I, I covered the regular season finale at Gately against Mount Carmel, and it, it was a crushing loss, man. You guys were ahead, and uh, last minute, the, the car caravan pulled it out. Um, what was your message to your team? I mean, you go from a 6-3, and three, potentially higher seed, to a 5-4 and four finish. Um, what did you tell your guys, man, with the playoffs starting? The following week. Yeah, it was a tough loss. You know, as a game, we thought we, we could have won, we should have won, and we let it slip away. And I told the guys, we just got to learn from it. You know, yep. We made some mistakes, and uh, you know, heading into the playoffs, we can't have that in the playoffs. So, you know, maybe it was a good learning experience for us. You never like to lose to any team in the Catholic Blue. I mean, it's a great conference. There's always great competition. Um, 
Um, you talk about Mount Carmel and Providence, two of the top teams in the state. So it was it was a battle, um, but you know they got us this time. But you know hopefully we learn from it. And, and Cogs is much too humble. I mean, the, offici the officiating that game was questionable, but we don't want to get uh, on the officiating, right? There was some no. really <laughs> strange calls. But it's been that type of season, man. There's been some really questionable officiating all year. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. You're, you're right. You're right. <laughs> all right, so what does it say about your players? In particular, you talked about these seniors, and I'm sure they had a heavy hand in this, to pick themselves up from a, an emotional loss. I mean, you could just be like, all right, hey, this this season hasn't gone as planned. We lose a big big game uh, to, to finish the regular season. Um, what does it say about your players to pick themselves up and ca kind of carry on this tradition, man? Oh, yeah, tradition is the key. You know, they come to Providence. The goal is always to be a state champ, and you know we didn't win the Catholic League Conference. Uh, you know, didn't win on a or finish on a high note, but it's a new season. You know, yep. We start the playoffs, new season. We're we're getting ready to find out Saturday night who we're playing, and you know we put that uh, last game behind us right away. Yeah. So the kids, very resilient group. This this group is. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. And again, it comes down to the seniors. Yep. You know. All right, so I've been covering high school football, and I'm dating myself here at Cox, 28 years. And I, covering, I covered your first round playoff game against Richards at Richards. And your quarterback, Caden Kalinowski, he put two fakes, I mean ball fakes, we should say. I'm not talking juking. I'm talking ball fakes that the whole stadium was pretty much fooled. Richards, was def Richards defense was definitely fooled. Um, and he, and he went on to, to score touchdowns on both those plays. Is that something that you know he works on? Uh, because I mean, he sold those fakes so well. Yeah, you know, he doesn't specifically work on that fake, but it, it's one of our key plays that we run. And he's just gotten better and better at it. Uh, you know, even this past game it was the same thing. He's faking out. Even us coaches on the sideline, we think the play's stuffed, <laughs> getting mad, and all of a sudden there goes Caden down the sideline. So he's. Uh, he has really mastered, you know, that uh, that technique. It is a weapon. It's not something you want to use, you know, real often. But I'll tell you, in a pinch, I mean, that is a momentum changer. And I'll tell you, the announcers were fooled at, at Richards. The fans were fooled. He, he's going down, to, going down for a touchdown, and neither bleachers were reacting because they thought the play was stuffed. Yeah. You know, well, we've so. had a situation. I don't know if I told you, one of our games, the referees blew the whistle and blew it down as Caden's running down the sideline. They thought the <laughs> The ball carrier was tackled, and a lot of that goes uh, you know, on Deshaun Gavin. Yep. So he's such a key to our offense that everyone's keying on him, and uh, so they're flying up to stop Deshaun, and Caden pulls it. And yeah, he's, and he's around the corner, and he's got the speed to uh, to for finish. A, for a bigger guys. kid, man, he does yes. have some wheels. And and you mentioned Deshaun, and and Caden actually he said the same thing after that game. He gave a lot of credit to to Deshaun, and he's had a tremendous season, man. What what makes him such a, a dangerous back? Well, he's got he's kind of got a little bit of everything. I mean, he's got outstanding speed. Yep. He's, he's strong. He finishes his runs. Uh, he doesn't go down easily, and he, he knows how to follow his blockers. And, and again, we have a very good offensive line. You know, we have one sophomore, but pretty much a senior-driven O line. So. Yep. Obviously, a lot of credit always goes uh, to the big boys up front. Yep, and, and he's a Western Illinois recruit, and mm -hmm. yeah, and you watch him run, and he is very patient. He w waits for the hole to develop. He doesn't run into the hole if the if there's nothing there. He doesn't run into his blockers. So right. obviously, that's that comes with some experience and yeah. obviously some some. some uh, and he's teaching. got that acceleration also. He's yep. got that that gear that once it's open, once he hits it again, he's a track guy. Runs yep. track for me, so. Uh, <laughs> He gets in the open field again, and not too many guys around that'll catch him. That'll catch him. Yep. All right. So th this defense, man. I mean, you lost some key personnel. You know, Joey Markasovic, who's a linebacker and plays. He could play some offense for you as well. Senior. Um, he goes down. I think it was week two. And then uh, mm -hmm. Nick Jones, a defensive lineman, he goes down either week two or week three, <coughs> out right. for the year. Um, how does the defense adapt to losing personnel like that? Uh, well, it, it comes down to your depth, and you know, knock on wood, we had some decent depth, you know, but uh, depth is gone now, so we're, <laughs> we're on thin ice. We, yeah. we can't afford to lose any more guys. Uh, Joey is just, you know, started for us last year, obviously. He's just such a great player, such a great leader. Um, you know, losing him, he had, I don't know, almost 30 tackles in the two games. He yeah. had more tackles in two games than a lot of our guys have had all year, so it was a, it was a big loss. Um, and, and Nick Jones was a defensive lineman for us, um, you know. But guys, you know, that's the old saying: guys got to be ready to step in. And uh, we had some some good seniors ready right behind them, and 
and they've done everything we've asked. Yep, and Marcus Sovic's a legacy guy too. He had two older brothers, right? That played uh, there. Or three. three, three, right? Three, yes. Yeah, so he's the last one. So. Yeah, that that that's rough, man, and a good kid as well. Yeah. Um, so you got St. Lawrence on on Saturday in Burbank, and. Um, you know, this, this Tory Clinton that we had on as a guest a few weeks ago, I mean, he's just tearing up 416 yards in, uh, in, in the first round and then 368 yards uh, last week. So what do you do to try and contain this kid? Well, we say a prayer every day <laughs> before, before practice and in the morning. But uh, we're just going to have to rely on, you know, our, our gap responsibilities. You know, our, our base defense can't give him, you know, any, any seams. I mean, he's... Uh, super electric, fast, he's powerful, but uh, you know, that's our, our strength is our, our D-line, our linebackers. We have big linebackers, as you're going to see with Mariano. Yep. So, uh, you know, can't give them, can't give them any, any seams. You know, if we're gap sound, uh, and we've got to be able to tackle, got to wrap up. I mean, he breaks a lot of tackles, he, he spins. Uh, I mean, you saw him, uh, how how big or how physical is he? What, what yeah, can you tell me I about mean, him? He's, he's, you know, he's, he's a tremendous back. You know what yeah. I mean? He's not the biggest kid, but right. man, he, he sees the hole, and when he hits the hole, he's tough to catch. But, you yeah. know, what I've, you know, and you got to give the kid credit too, because teams are game planning to stop him. You know what I mean? And, right. And he's and, and still he's getting just, the job done. Uh, getting better and better. Right. So that's, that's a scary part for us. And then real quickly, Cogs, uh, you, know, you know, no one lines up and wants to play the Celtics, the 10-time uh, state championship uh, Celtics, but you have found a new non-conference opponent next year, Lockport, which seems like a nice na natural rivalry, huh? Week yeah, one? Yeah, week, week one. Week one. Week one at Soldier Field. So how did that so, develop? Well, I think it kind of through the ADs. Um, I mean, their AD is an old Catholic League guy. Yep. And uh, kind of got in touch with us, and I think he maybe has some connections at, uh, with the Soldier Field. And uh, that's pretty much how it happened. I mean, we'd never played them before. Yeah. You know, but it's, like you said, it's a natural rivalry. They're, they're down the street. Uh, we're always looking for week one and two games. So uh, we're excited. It's just, I think, just the perfect fit. Yep. Um, being able to play a team like that. Uh, a lot of history. Venue. Yep. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of history. Kids, you know, we have a lot of kids from Lockport, Homer area, you know, playing for us. So it's, it's going to be exciting. Yeah. We're, even alumni and a lot of people are already talking about it. So yep. People no, that's, from that area. It's, that's great, too. And you guys have never played, which, you know, adds mm -hmm. to the, the excitement. So yes. that's awesome. All right, Cogs, well, I appreciate you coming on board again, my man. Thanks for having me. Tell Always your mom pleasure. and dad uh, hello. And uh, do. I always love do. to see them, man. Great, great people. Great people. Appreciate man. it. Thank you. All right, folks. We are going to go to Lisa Thomas Salon timeout. Remember, locations in Mokina, Tinley Park, and Orland Park. We come back. Senior linebacker Mariano Sori Marin will be our guest. Stay tuned. It's time, your time. Look renewed. Feel rejuvenated. Visit Lisa Thomas Salon. Whether it's a new hairstyle, expertly applied makeup, skin treatments, or nail services, our professional stylists are up to date on all the latest techniques and styles to help you achieve the look you've always wanted. Find the you you deserve. Your transformation begins at Lisa Thomas. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warniak Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. If you're suffering from physical pain, nothing else matters. The one thing that should is Midwest Orthopedic Consultants because experience never mattered more. Serving the community for 25 years with over 90 years of combined orthopedic experience, our fellowship trained surgeons provide individualized care to those suffering from orthopedic pain. We deliver comprehensive care from diagnostic to surgical to rehabilitative services, all under one roof in each of our locations. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, bringing university level orthopedic care close to home. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. If you're just joining us, we're at the Beggar's Pizza location on 650 West Maple Street in New Lenox. All right, second guest tonight, senior linebacker Mariano 
Sorry, Marin. How's it going, Mariano? It's going great. Thank Thanks for, for having coming me. on board, man. Thank Thanks for, for coming me. on board. Pleasure to have you. Um, all right, so you guys win your first two games here. You're in the quarters. Saturday, what's been the most pleasing part of this postseason run for you? Well, the most pleasing part of this postseason is getting to spend one more week with my teammates and, and you know, brothers. Yep. Uh, seniors before me have told me how, how fast this time flies and just to soak in every moment. And it's truly been special to get to spend one more week, and I hope we get three more weeks, but, you know, you got to take every day you know, and, and really work hard and take full advantage of every moment you got together. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, all right, and I, I'll tell you, genuinely, no one deserves the success this kid's getting more than him because, you know, you suffered a couple season-ending injuries, man, your sophomore and junior years, which was devastating. Um, so what, what did you learn from that, man? You've had a healthy season this year. Um, right. How has it changed like, your perspective in life, Mariano? Well, I, I mean, I've just come to appreciate every day. Every practice, I appreciate it because you never know when it's going to end. And I, I've seen some teammates go down, and it's, and it's heartbreaking because, you know, you never know when it's going to end. And so I've taken full advantage of it, and my teammates have helped me along the way. You know, suffering these two injuries was, was devastating. But my teammates, we worked together, we worked hard, and, and we've really come together this, this senior season to make – make it special so yep. Yep. I'm happy with it and let's just keep this train rolling exactly man um, you're going to go to Minnesota um, con congratulations on that um, PJ Fleck you know how, how much did he have an influence on you uh, deciding I'm going to Minnesota well he's a, he's a real energetic guy <laughs> obviously and uh, but his, his row the boat culture has re really influenced me and I think that's what brings in a lot of his recruits is they, they want to make themselves better, not just on the football field, but, but in all aspects of your life. He's a great guy. He's going to make you a better man for it. And, I mean, that's what I, that's what I want to do. And Minnesota is the place for me. So. Yep. What, was the, what, what really sold you? When, was there a moment when you went up and visited and you said, this is it, I'm done recruiting, this is the place I'm going to be? Well, my first visit to Minnesota, I experienced that energy. And right then and there I knew. I mean, this is the place. I mean, I've, I've, I went on a bunch of college visits, and nowhere else did I experience such energy out of yep. the entire coaching staff, not just Coach Flack, but everybody's rowing the boat, as, as he would say, and it's just it's going to be a great opportunity for me, and I'm excited about it. Yeah, that, that's awesome, man. I mean, you just listen to the guy, and you, you can't get help but get excited. Right, just listen yeah. to the guy talk, man. So, all right. Um, What's it meant to you? I mean, obviously, we talked about some of the adversity, adversity you had to overcome with the injuries. What's it meant to you to wear this Providence jersey? Well, it means family. Truly, it does. When I, when I came to Providence, you know, I knew a couple guys. I knew Caden from the boroughs. But overall, Providence is a melting pot from players of all over the area. So, you know, we had to start new relationships, and I thought that was really cool because we've – Looking back at it, we've grown such strong relationship, and we're, we're a brotherhood. And yeah. uh, I mean, every day I'm I'm playing for the guy next to me, and it's it's really special because I, I know I'll have these memories for life, and I know I'll be in contact with these guys for 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 a very long time. What would you say your most vivid memory is? What are you going to look back on? And maybe that memory hasn't you know you haven't experienced that memory. Maybe I, it's gonna I, be I hope a that memory's weeks. yet to come. But you know, each day, I mean, last week was was a really special moment. Just knowing that I had one more week, and I mean, I, I hope that memory's yet to come. Yep, yep. That, 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 that would be the key. Do you have any idea what you want to major in? Uh, business finance. Business finance. Yes. You're a man with numbers. Yes. You like numbers. I like numbers. All right, that's good, man. All right, Mariano, Thank thanks for so coming much. on board. I appreciate it. Good luck Saturday against, the, against the Vikings, man. All right, we're going to go into an athletics, sports, and orthopedic physical therapy timeout. Our good buddy Tom Mulvey, locations in Oak Lawn and Orland Park. We come back, players of the week. Some results, a lot of good stuff. Stay tuned. Athletic Sports and Orthopedic Physical Therapy is a 2,200 square foot facility that includes the latest in rehabilitation equipment, including the HydroTrack underwater treadmill. All therapists at Athletics are experienced and offer hands-on treatment for patients that require such therapy. Whether it's your feet, ankles, knees, hips, lower back, shoulders, elbows, wrists, neck or jaw, Athletics is here to help. We at Athletics understand you as a patient have the right to choose where you receive treatment. Ask your physician if Athletics, with locations in Oaklawn and Orland Park, is right for you. 
We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a half sausage for you and your husband and a half just cheese for the kids, who never seem to stop moving. Go ahead and take the night off, Mom. I got you covered. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. Thank you, Coach's Corner, for celebrating all these great athletes. Now celebrate the American classic with Apple Chevy. Classics like the Chevy Impala. Originating in 1958, the Chevy Impala is older than the states Hawaii and Alaska. It still holds its sleek and stylish design with a focus on luxury. It has the option to have the power of 305 horses. Don't take my word for it. Come test drive it today at Apple Chevy. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'd like to thank Providence football coach Mark Coglinis and senior linebacker Mariano Sori Marin for being our guests. Now we're joined by two delicious Beggar's Pizza, nice sausage and cheese, half pepperoni and cheese. We're going to take care of these after this show. All right, and before we get to the results segment, I want to mention for Providence, um, November 19th, open house at Providence from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., um, and then they're going to have uh, the test day has been moved up December 2nd, 8 a.m. Um, Want to schedule a visit, a shadow day? Go to ProvidenceCatholic.org for more information. All right. All right. The results segment sponsored by Athletics. Um, game I was at on Saturday, Class 8A game, Lincoln West East 15, St. Charles East 14. That was quite an ending to that game. Brendan Morrissey, 7-11, 104 yards, couple scores. Mason Keenan had a 34-yard TD reception. Turner Palisard had a 14-yard TD reception. Dominic Ziobin with a 25-yard field goal, man, with 23 seconds left. That was the game winner. East host Oswego at 6 p.m. Saturday in the quarters. Game I was at Friday, HF uh, fell a little short, 31-28 to Naperville Central. Kellen uh, Gerenstein, 7 of 8 passing, 97 yards, also had a 9-yard TD run. Justin Hall, 32 carries, 154 yards, couple scores. Marcel Ellis had a 38-yard TD run for the Vikings. And I'll tell you, Coach Buzz, he had a reason to complain about a couple calls uh, that went against the Vikings. So we, we talked about officiating with Coach Coggs. It was uh, lacking, for our use of a better word, uh, last Friday in Flossmore. In 7A, Mount Carmel 14, Normal 13 for the Caravan, Aristotle Nakos, two-yard TD run. Radomir uh, Primovic with a five-yard TD run. Eddie McGee blocked the PAT. That was the difference in the game. The Caravan host East St. Louis at Gately Stadium Saturday, 5 p.m. Lincoln Way Central 21, Hersey 7 for the Knights. Mike Morgan, 36 carries, 154 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, Knights are hosting Bennett at 1 p.m. Saturday. Lincoln Way West, 42, Walton, 13. Caleb Marconi, that's an Italian for you. 28 carries, 119 yards, four scores. Anthony Izzarelli, that might be another Italian. He had a TD run. Grayson Grimm, TD run. Uh, West host Batavia on Saturday. Uh, also on 7A, St. Rita, 26, St. Charles North, 16 for Rita Chris Childers, 30 carries, 262 yards and three scores. Jake Stefanski at a 13-yard TD run. Mustangs host Lake Zurich at 5 p.m. Saturday. And in 6A, the Celtics, 33-6 winners over Normal West. Caden Kalinowski, two TD runs. Deshaun Gavin, 80-yard TD run. Jake uh, McGurney, a TD run. And like we mentioned, they're at St. Lawrence Saturday at 2 o'clock. And uh, that St. Lawrence team beat Hinsdale South 32-16. Torrey Clinton, 359 yards rushing, three touchdowns for the Vikings. Other quarterfinal games, Maris is hosting Loyola Saturday at 7 o'clock. That will be a great, great game. Uh, in 5A, Hillcrest travels to Dunlap 4 p.m. Saturday. And Lamont is at Gately Stadium uh, playing Phillips. Uh, that game is at 1 p.m. Saturday as well. All right, the Labriola Bakery Cafe Golden Baguette Player of the Week. We're going to hook up Providence quarterback Caden Kalinowski. He had a couple scores uh, during the victory Saturday, but I'm also going to give him props because I had to give Torrey Clinton the, the honors two weeks ago, but I'm going to hook him up. Those two fakes against Richards, those, those were tremendous. So $25 gift card compliments the Labriola Bakery Cafe in Oak Brook and Streeterville. going to hook up these two guys with that gift card. So if you don't get it, Caden, blame Coach Cogs or Mariano. They took it. And Elisa Thomas Salon, 
Teen Club Player of the Week. Maris Volleyball's Maggie Meyer, 13 kills to lead the Red Hawks to a 25-20, 25-17 Class 4 a super sectional win over rival Mother Macaulay. We're going to hook up Maggie with a nice gift certificate. Compliments of Lisa Thomas Salon in Mokina, Tinley Park, and Orland. We're going to go to a Labriola Bakery Cafe timeout. We return high and tight. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato and, of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria, conveniently located in the Oak Brook Promenade. It's time, your time. Look renewed. Feel rejuvenated. Visit Lisa Thomas Salon. Whether it's a new hairstyle, expertly applied makeup, skin treatments, or nail services, our professional stylists are up to date on all the latest techniques and styles to help you achieve the look you've always wanted. Find the you you deserve. Your transformation begins at Lisa Thomas. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warnick Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. If you're suffering from physical pain, nothing else matters. The one thing that should is Midwest Orthopedic Consultants because experience never mattered more. Serving the community for 25 years with over 90 years of combined orthopedic experience, our fellowship trained surgeons provide individualized care to those suffering from orthopedic pain. We deliver comprehensive care from diagnostic to surgical to rehabilitative services, all under one roof in each of our locations. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, bringing university level orthopedic care close to home. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pete's. All right, high and tight, sponsored by Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, locations in Oak Lawn and Orland Park. All right, I told Coach Rob Zavone on Lincoln East, after Saturday's 15-14 victory over St. Charles East, he better send a Christmas card to the St. Charles East coaching staff because they laid that victory out on a silver platter for the Griffins, all right? They were 17 seed, East was a one seed, but with about nine minutes and change left, East... St. Charles East going for a fourth down and one from their own 35 ahead seven to six in the mud and not coming through. And then they run the ball to Devin O'Rourke's side. Not a very good decision. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next week.